hello everyone welcome to quantum guru so today in this video we are going to discuss about how to do the irc calculation in host okay so we'll take an example of one simple sn2 reaction okay so this is a methanol and we have a nucleophile cl minus over here so what will happen in presence of some catalyst this cl minus will replace this oh right and you'll be getting chloromethane this is one particular example of sn2 reaction so during this reaction you will be getting one intermediate right and that intermediate will be you know pentavalent carbon right not uh, sorry that will be transition state not the intermediate so something like this will be getting one so the cl will be attacking from the back side and oh group will be leaving right and you have hydrogen over here so this is the transition state you will be getting right so if we can calculate this transition state like certain step back and certain step forward so we expect if like if is the real transition state then it should connect the reactant and the product if you are going back it should connect the reactant and if you are going forward it should connect the product right so assuming this is as a transition state what we can do is after like assuming the transition state We'll go to the Gospi manual and we'll design this molecule. Same, okay? You we have uh, this uh, trigonal plane of carbon, and then you have a hydroxyl group and the Cl group. Okay? So this is the pentavalent carbon, right? So this is the intermediate that we have just now designed in the Gospi. Fine. Now right click and go to the calculate, and here go to the energy and opt plus freak that you need to select. Okay? Once you have selected this, what you need to do is so once you have selected that, this time you don't have to choose the minimum. This time you have to choose the TS burning because we are going to calculate the transition state. Okay. Now we have the choice to calculate the force constant once or calculate at every point. See, calculating force constant at all the points is better. Your accuracy will be good. Result will be better but certainly that will be very costly so just for timing we'll be using calculated first time okay and other than this everything will be same and method whatever method you want to use you can choose the method from here okay and you can choose the default spin then the whatever function you want to use and the basis set and the charges okay so in this case in this case cl minus is attacking right cl minus is attacking so either you give minus charge over here and the spin will be the singlet or you can do other way or like if you want to do in the neutral case then it will be zero charge and the, it will be doublet okay so whatever way you use you can choose it like if you are giving minus charge then it will be singlet okay and then you have to use opt is equal to no icon after doing this what you need to do is sum it okay click on submit and save the job and calculate it once your job is over so actually i have already calculated this i will show you the output how it looks so once your job is over you will be seeing this output file go to the result menu and there you can click on the web uh, summary <coughs> and there you see you will be seeing one negative frequency if your geometry like optimal geometry has one negative frequency is giving one kind of you know idea about this has a like negative frequency so that negative frequency value should be very high more than 500 600 so that uh, you you will be having a good transition state okay if as you know that in the transition state what happens is oh bond starts breaking and cl bond start forming right so if you animate this negative frequency you can see that see this is bond breaking and forming between cl and oh right so our transition state is correct right so once you got the transition state what you need to do is now you just need to copy this geometry go to the edit menu and there you copy it okay now you can cut it go to the file menu new molecule group here you paste it right after doing this go to the uh, calculate and in the calculate section you can go for irc okay and here you have to select the irc in the both direction okay 
I have seen the both direction means you know the intrinsic reaction coordinate that potential energy you will be getting the surface will be getting so in the both direction it will try to match the reactant side as well as the product side okay in the force constant already I told you if you are like clicking calculate always will be very costly so we will go for calculate it once okay that is okay compute for endpoints so these are the you know in between steps suppose you have a reactant and a transition stage so in between how many you know steps you want to do so greater the number of endpoints uh, like it will take more time it could be costly so just for timing i am giving 40 and there is another way to uh, choose the force constant value at each nth point you can calculate this force constant okay so that also you can choose but right now i will be using calculate it once okay after that go to the method section and there you need to select uh, whatever method you want to use dft suppose you want to use dft just suppose dft and the functional basis set and the charges and the doublet i already told you right if you are giving minus charge over here then you have to select singlet over here and if you are giving zero charge then it will be doublet after doing this submit the job okay once you have submitted the job and your calculation is over what you will see is you will be seeing Uh, your structure will be like this only and you can go to the result menu and go to the IRC path you can see the IRC this is the intrinsic reaction coordinate okay the uh, y axis is the energies in the hatchery and the x axis is your reaction coordinate okay this is your transition state as you already know right <coughs> and this is the steps that it has calculated right that you can check from here okay so the, you can see these steps fine so this is the uh, the way you can find do the uh, intrinsic reaction coordinate fine suppose if you want to export this data for a publication purpose to the pic like you want to draw this graph what you can do is you can uh, you know save data save picture whatever you want you can do that in save data you will be getting one x of like x axis y axis values you will be getting and you can plot it again right so this is the way to find out the intersection reaction coordinate for any kind of reaction this is just the basic like how to do this irc calculation okay and let me tell you one more thing you'll be getting so many errors like your job will be failing multiple times because this is you know not that uh, hit and trial method na, we are using so there will be so many failures but don't you know worry about that you just do it if you have any problem you can put in the comment box thank you for watching